up, what is good? Welcome back to The Blind Spot, and this is yours truly, Dominic DiMaglio. And today's episode is another video brought to you by KNF Concept. Definitely doing this. By the way, before I forget, if you haven't, make sure to like this video if you want more. Comment down below what other videos of KNF products do you want me to review, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be notified by my future uploads. So it did come in this box, but unfortunately, due to shipping, it was messed up, so it's okay. I really didn't mind, because the actual product is intact. Sorry. First thing that I like about this tripod is that it has its own bag and I can carry it around like this. It's pretty light and it's not that much uh, of a hassle to bring. It also has padded straps right here so that you can put it on you whether you're traveling lightly like this. And I think you guys, especially for those who are on the go and you do vlog, this is pretty light and very handy too. One thing I like about this is that it's pretty small when you fold it like this. And it's pretty light, you can easily maneuver it around and just unfold it. So, just twist this one right here, all of the four knobs, whatever is good for you, how long. Just extend it and there you go, pretty easy. And you can easily lock each part properly. That's what I like about it. Pretty easy to unfold. So it has a monopod feature. So it's a detachable monopod. Just take this off right here. This is the first part. Very easy to uh, take off. Second one is just loosen this one where you can put some counterweight. Next one is just loosen this part right here so you can pull this one out. And there you go, the second part for the monopod. Next is you can just connect these two parts right here where you can meet right there at that part. And here you go with the monopod and you're good to go. It's pretty tall too. I'm like 5A on this, like 5'5". Five five. And also you can use this with or without the ball head. I'm really not that good with tech reviews. But yeah, just twist this part right here and you get this one. It is pretty convenient, especially with this kinds of top or knobs right here. You can form it like this. Just twist this one right here, this knob, pull it, and then like this. And you can do it overhead shot for your product shoes, especially when you're doing it indoors. Like me, I do product shots for shirts, uh, especially for clothing brands. But, uh, before I do some actual shoots with models, I do shoots for their clothing and their products and all that. And this really helps. Honestly, it's pretty convenient to like set it up in a inverted way. So just loosen this part right here, remove it and unlock this one so you can easily invert the whole main part or the middle pole and just put it back here and tighten it however you want to set it up so just to get, give you guys a quick look at it here you go there's a metal ball head and you can also tilt the whole setup too even if it's inverted so let me just put this one down and it can extend this part right here this middle part with the metal ball head and bend it forward so you can do it for your product shots or for the overhead ones and just use the metal ball heads join so you can uh, put your camera at rest uh, facing upwards so that it won't you know fall off and just to be safe use some counterweight or make sure you're guarding your whole setup so that it won't fall off so here's a closer look you can do two to three full turns so you can tighten it and loosen it if you want to fold it and it's not that tight for all the knobs i don't have any issues from eat any of it so it's pretty cool also, there are three levels levels for the leg, so you can move around with like low angle shots or probably product shots, especially for those who are doing indoor shoots right now. Pretty helpful. You have so many options. Oh, and by the way, here's how how tall it is next to me. I am five nine. So this is pretty 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 much one of my best tripods so far. Not because KNF gave it to me, but I have so many options already and so many things I can do with this one, especially for my product shoots for shirts. That's my biggest problem because I always just do it manually and it, I just wobble so it's not in place, it's not consistent. <laughs> By the way, here are some closer looks of other options and some other parts so you have an idea on how good it is up front aesthetically and probably, you know, function wise. And you can and it comes with Allen screw so you can tighten some parts if you're you've been using it for some time. So yeah, eventually wear and tear and all that. So just make sure to carry that around. I guess photographers do that most of the time. Also, it has a metal ball head, by the way. It has fluid, a fluid head, so you can easily just uh, do some movements with it that will really help you guys with your cinematography or your video. So yeah, pretty helpful. Also, here is the overhead uh, feature that I am pretty much looking forward to when I was 
contacted by KNF because I don't have any. I haven't experienced using this kind of tripod uh, since I got my my other ones for my films or my short films. So, yeah, this is pretty helpful. Also has a really nice set of locks, so it's not just when you lock it still moves or it kind of slips through the locks. No, this one's pretty much intact. As like I said earlier, just carry the Allen screw all the time so you can tighten those ones. Also, you can use it with or without the ball head and invert that screw right there in the orange part so you can use the one fourth one if you ever you want to do that. So yeah, a few more closer looks and comparison ones so that you have an idea how it, how big it is and how convenient it is for you. And I do suggest this for vloggers, uh, product photographers and all that if you want, want to be on the go. So unfortunately here in the Philippines, as of this recording and when I got the tripod, Manila is under lockdown. So we can't really do shoots that much outdoors. It's pretty unsafe and there's, there's a pandemic. So uh, we tried to do a quick shoot indoor at a living room for my friend's brand and he lives nearby, don't worry. And um, to be honest, I did a stress test for, for the tripod. I used a full rig, well somehow full rig, cage, handles, battery grip, Sony a7 III body, and zoom lens. So it's kind of heavy. So I did a portrait setting. So I used the metal ball head to like set it up in a portrait mode. And I was pretty concerned at first because um, the legs of the tripod is pretty thin, but it didn't really matter. Uh, it was moving because of our tiles. It was messed up, but the, the tripod itself was holding it properly and it was, it was pretty safe I, I, I assure you so um, yeah just, just a little just be cautious still because you know it might you know down the line the metal ball head might be down by wear and tear so uh, just be careful be uh, be on guard or, of your camera or when you're not using it um, put it back on uh, in a straight in a safer position or just completely remove it because it has a quick release base for the metal ball head all right and like what I said, you know, it's pretty light. You can use it for like really quick setup shoots like this. Well, minus the lights because we're just indoor. But if you're going to use it outdoor, I do suggest try it because um, it will really be convenient. Like unlike the ones that I used before, which are heavy duty. <laughs> this, this one is way, way cooler to use. So yeah, um, like what if you have any questions for now, uh, before I do use it for a shoot outdoor soon, hopefully our lockdown will be eased down and Manila will be safer or the Philippines will be safer yeah um, just let me know in the comment section I'll try my best to answer it and give you guys uh, video footage for that one so I can answer your question so that's all for now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys soon